everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. I thought I'd start off a little different and uh, give you guys a quick preview of some items that are finally ready to be loaded onto my website at waterfallacrylics.com. Um, I got you on a selfie stick. This is my display case in the living room. Most of these are the obviously the smaller pieces. There's a larger one right there on the wall. It's a super gloomy day here, so I'm hoping these show up okay. Um, there's the second shelf, a couple pieces. I am waiting for frames for a few of these, not everything. Um, I'm not sure if that guy there will get a frame or not. Haven't decided. This guy here definitely will, as well as that guy in the back. He's worthy. There's a little blue piece hanging in the corner. He's hard to see. He's back there. And then a couple more here on the lower shelf and one at the bottom but i think that one's going to be a gift so there they all are if you see something you like say something and shoot me an email at waterfallacrylics at gmail.com before they hit the website and uh let me flip around and talk to you about what we're going to do today all right there i am back in my usual spot so first off i have to thank you all for the lovely comments uh regarding uh, my dog Dusty's passing. I have been taking it the hardest, I think, because I'm the one who works from home and I'm so used to him following me from room to room that there's just a big hole in the house right now. So I'm still pretty sad, but enough of that. Let's talk art. Uh, so in this video, um, most of this was filmed actually a couple weeks ago and it's my first try at getting some better angles on how I use the hair dryer um, to blow out larger pieces. By larger, I mean anything 12 by 12 and, and over. Um, it's just easier to use a hair dryer than your mouth. And so bear with me, I'm not a videographer, so I hope to have uh, better angles in subsequent videos for you guys to see how I do it. So this is my first attempt. And we're gonna do several blooms and then spin them out. I'm super happy with the uh, with the finished piece. I hope you guys like it too. And um, yeah, just let me get you down. Okay guys, all set up. We hope this works. Novice, amateur <laughs> filmers at work. Um, I got my puddle down already. Um, colors, brands, premium recipe, discount codes. Um, link to the Fluid Art Addicts Facebook group is in there too, um, run by me and Jen Neal. Please come check it out, post your artwork. First color we have here, this is Utrecht's True Gold. Seems a little thick. I might add some Joa to this real quick and that just means a little squirt of water with a touch of varnish mixed together. There we go. So we have the true gold. We have a new color from this little piggy right here. This is Lagoon. Oh my gosh. Um, I think this is the third painting I've used this color. It's gorgeous. And then I also have Golden's um, turquoise, phalo turquoise right here to go along with that lagoon. I also have another piggy color called Parakeet, gorgeous. And then finally, I have some Titan Pink Green Pale from Golden. So that's the color palette. And we have some dark purple cell activator, my Amsterdam. Um, I can never ever remember the name of it. Ugh, it drives me crazy. Um, permanent blue violet. So I think I'm going to start with the Titan Green Pale here as my first color. And then we're going to go with, no, hmm, no, <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Let's go with the Parakeet color. Next. And then I don't want a lot of turquoise in this. 
just a little pop of color. So I'm going to ease up on that, do a smaller puddle of the turquoise, and then put on the lagoon. And then some gold. And so when I do the blowout for these, before I put the cell activator on, let me talk. I don't do it like a traditional bloom um, on a smaller canvas where you blow straight down into the cell activator and then you go out to the sides. This is definitely much more at an angle and where I'm standing back. You don't want it flat. You want it kind of like that, almost like a 90 degree angle. I aim for the closest edge of the cell activator to me and I almost blow the cell activator over itself to blow it out because the whole idea is to get the cells and lacing as far away from the center as you possibly can. I'm not always successful myself, but that's the goal. So let me just put on the cell activator and give this first puddle a blowout. All right, and as always, cool air, high fan. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little pop just on the center here so you guys can see. There's not much there, but just a little baby puff. All right, that last blowout was a hot mess, but that was my fault. Um, <laughs> I got the middle all messed up, so I'm probably gonna wreck that middle for sure. Um, Let's try it again. I'm so worried about like focus on having you guys being able to see um, the hair dryer motion. I wasn't focused on the composition of the blooms, but that's okay. We're just gonna go again. We're gonna go right here this time. Do a little bigger one. So the Titan Pale Green, the Parakeet. My phalo turquoise, lagoon, and some gold. Let's see if we do a better job with the blowout this time. Let's 
seal activator. All right, last blowout. This is the important part, ready? All right, guys, this is probably the best representation of what a decent blowout looks like with the hair dryer. Um, the third one was the charm there. You can see how I got the cells and lacing, how far out I got everything to go. That's the goal. That is definitely your goal. Anything else where the hour is blowing out here, um, that's just because I really love the watercolor effect um, that you can get. And these colors are just so pretty. I was just kind of goofing off. But that's the goal right there. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, full disclosure, uh, Chloe and I messed up the tilting of the last version. And rather than show you how to blow out all over again, we're going to leave that part in and <laughs> redid the three blooms here. I'm debating whether or not to deconstruct it or maybe give it a little spin. And I think I'm thinking a little baby spin. Um, I like all the negative space and the watercolor effect with this one. So there's the, the bottom bloom. Um, there's the middle one. And here's the top one. And yeah, let me uh, set up my doggy pole and let's just give this a baby spin, see what happens. All right, let's just give this a go. See what happens. And one is getting pushed off the edge. I don't know if I want to lose it all the way. Just one more little baby one. Then I'm going to take it up and tilt it. Yeah, because there goes the bottom one. That actually looks super pretty like that. That might be a keeper just like this, y'all. Let me get the center one. That's the focal point. The bottom, the top. <laughs> yeah, let me take it back up to the counter because I know there's a shadow for me. That's my big head causing the shadow. And uh, take a closer look. Okay, guys, here's a flyover of the um, wet results. I'm trying to, I was looking at it and I had always assumed that this was the orientation because like I said, that just looks like a flower in a, 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 a pond to me. I think I called it a lily pond and that's not right. <laughs> yes, it is. Lily pad. Oh my gosh, such a goober. Lily pad. <laughs> but I just realized... I've had too much coffee today. I realize it can go like this as well. And um, so let me get you down. Uh, first up, this is the part I was futzing with. See how I got the little, my finger got it to fan out. 
And like I said, that will be painted so it's not so obvious and it'll blend. But what it did was lighten up that spot, which is going to make a huge difference um, in how this looked. Um, the, I love this. I love this. This is with the hair dryer, getting um, your cells to fan out over here as well there going all the way out instead of getting stuck in the middle particularly here oh that loved that that's the middle section and the blending of the colors it just looks like a watercolor painting to me and of course the bling from the pigments is really pretty i'm super glad i eased up on the um phalo turquoise because just a little bit went a long long way and i think it would have overtaken with the softness of the lagoon and the parakeet uh, colors. Look at that up there at this end too. Just love that. This is why I didn't mind that um, little tiny bikini corner because of all the cells and lacing there and the blending of the colors. Uh, I really, really like this one. Usually it takes me a minute to like my own work I'm feeling it, man. I am feeling this one. Anyway, stay tuned for the dried results. Um, actually, I'm not sure. I'm going to say goodbye now. And then if you see the dry results, you know I had time. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, guys. I'm back with the dry results after all because uh, I didn't get the video up in time. So here it is. Um, very soft, very pretty, and the watercolor effect on this one is amazing. Um, I am bummed out about one thing, and hopefully I can fix it with resin or paint it or something, is I got like, it's not a crack, I got like a weird indent right there. And usually when it's like that and not a crack, whoops, sorry, a crack crack, I'm hoping resin masks that somehow. Um, because gosh, it's pretty like the watercolor effect in here. I just think, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Um, here's that main bloom here. And this is the part I was like dorking around with that it was white and I filled it in with the parakeet pigment color. It looks like a little waterfall right there. Um, so you can't even tell. And I love how the cells and the lacing fanned out this way. Um, and like this little detail, just the blending of the colors in this one is pretty fantastic. The bottom there that looks like the uh, the lily pond or the lily pad, <laughs> I couldn't decide. And then let me um, let me flip the orientation and see what it looks like the other way. Hold on. Okay, I'm staring at it this way. And I think it goes this way as well. Like, right? Like it could be, it'll be buyer's choice, really. Um, I think I almost prefer it. I don't know. It's a toss up for me. You guys have to tell me. Orientation number one or number two. Um, I'm just, tick I'm like, really, I think this is the best one I've done in a while. At least, I don't know. I'm just really taken with the, this one. Um, probably because of the watercolor effect, I find just very pleasing to the eye. And uh, the color palette too is really pretty. And I hope you guys got to check out my last video because there's one of the uh, picture frame, uh, floater frames looking amazing right there. Little sidebar. <laughs> anyway, you guys let me know what you think and what you prefer. And uh, yeah, let me say bye. I'm like a maniac today. I'm I'm like a one cup of coffee kind of gal because too much caffeine and I'm just like bonkers and I had two and so I'm bonkers. I'm just like all over the place. So if I misspoke or said crazy shit, just roll with it, okay? Um, there's my old selfie stick in a vase full of sand that I used to use that I broke out today to hopefully get some different angles for me and Chloe filming out the blowout. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and tuning in. Uh, thanks to Chloe for helping Mama out today because I got a bunch of eye rolls at first, but then, you know, she obliged me. You guys take care. Peace and love to you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.